Hello Aries and welcome to May 2020 general reading. How is everybody doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Chicago. The weather is amazing already. <laughs> I all know it's only lasting for two days, but I'll take it. Um, I hope all is good wherever you're at in this world. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the messages from Spirit in regards to finances, work, love, health, if that comes through, and um, whatever messages. So we've got Scorpio. Now, what came to me immediately here, and also please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading is not going to resonate with all of you. But what I got immediately here was around the full moon. Like around, I'm going to take it from the times the nodes go retrograde all the way through to Saturn goes retrograde on May 11th. But the full moon, I do believe, is on May 7th. And I feel that the energy will be intense then. I do feel like it's one of our biggest moons of the year. I do feel that it is bringing in the energy of the eclipses happening in June. Um, so we'll get the we'll get the rest of the messages as the cards unfold. But I I just feel that you need to get yourself in a place where you're not stinging people, where you're not stinging situations that you're in. And, and, you know, Scorpios have a stinger. And what I mean is, is not to get in a dark place either about events that may be happening in your life, whether they're good or whether they're not so good. I just feel that this is not the energy right now for you to judge anything. I, I feel that you would be in a better position of reserving and not reserving, I'm sorry, observing. And, you know, this also too is about your possess your your possessions. Okay. And the possessiveness you have over your possessions, whether that be a lover, your job, your finances, whatever. I feel like you need to release some energy here. Too much possessive energy in May, uh, especially through the dates that I I've given you. Okay, also too, I feel like you need to work with your own collective, your own personal collective, you know, work with what you feel is karmic and do your best in releasing those old beliefs, those old thoughts, things that have been very staggering in your life. And, you know, bring in a more enlightened visualization, enlightened thoughts, okay? Um, let's see what the next card is. Also, too, I'm feeling, well, Pluto. Pluto's been coming out a lot. Well, <laughs> Pluto's affecting all of our lives on this planet right now, uh, including the universe, as the universe lives within us too, uh, and we live in the universe. But Pluto is endings, okay? Scorpio is the death card in the tarot deck. So this Pluto rules Scorpio along with Mars. And even though this is a reading for Aries, there is messages here in the Scorpio energy here. Okay, um, definitely. So it's about transformation. Again, I spoke all that message here in Scorpio, which goes for Pluto too. But it's, it's the end results are the old you or the old, you know, just the old ways of doing things. I also feel like some of you may be in a position where you were shifted like at work, you know, your job or even your career. Like maybe you've had to shift your career to work around this pandemic. You walked out into a world that's different. 
It has similarities, but yet things are being different. Okay, you had moments of deja vu about your past. Pluto is in Capricorn. It's retrograde right now. Its message is letting go of the past. For some of you who cannot let go of the past, you are not going to see a brighter future or a change unless you let go of the past. All right. These are mini readings. I'm not going to be able to give you every single message in them. Okay. That's why you can order a personal reading with me and we can go through um, uh, deeper channels in regards to what's happening. Now you've got the fifth house here. May is a very important month for you and your children. It's an important month for you in regards to love, whether you have someone in your life or not, whether you meet someone or not, your focus is opening up your heart, opening up your creativity. Some of you who haven't been connected to your children uh, for various reasons, connect back with your children. If they don't want to hear you, or you don't want to hear them, that's your choice. But the message is going to be given anyways because what we don't accept winds up getting stored in our subconscious mind to a point. So also too, I feel it's very important what words you express in the month of May. The month of May is Taurus and Gemini. So you can be quite very... Uh, creative right now. Uh, plans that have been delayed, you can uh, kickstart them or you can actually delve deeper into them. Okay. Just because we've experienced the lockdown and a change in the world doesn't mean that we die with it. We can be reborn with it. Okay. It really all depends upon what information you keep sucking in uh, within your mind. So the fifth house too is natally in an astrological chart, the ruler. The Taurus is the ruler of the fifth house. No, I'm sorry. Taurus is not the ruler of the fifth house. <laughs> I'm looking at my own natal chart. No, sorry. Um, the fifth house is Leo. Okay. And it's time to take leadership on the things that I've mentioned here. All right, let's go ahead and pull some cards. Instead of using the tarot, I'm using these cards. <sighs> let's see, messages. So we've got a nine, which is about closure. It's about endings. Um... To me, there's a spiritual message, not because there's just a cross here. A cross has many meanings, but it, it's about a closure and it is about what is going to be the new you, okay? What higher wisdom can you be involved with in regards to your collective? What higher beauty can you imagine just putting in your collective. Like your collective is kind of like a vision board. It's the energy that surrounds your physicality, your physical body, and it's the energy that's so important that eventually winds up in the physical body. So imagine your collective like a vision board and start to imprint beautiful things, beautiful Visions, beautiful thoughts, beautiful action. Just because we're going through dark times doesn't mean that you have to be dark times. And I'm not saying that you are. I'm just saying you don't have to submit. You can follow guidelines, but you don't have to submit your entire world to control or to darkness 
you can still create beautiful things. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. It's really a beautiful day. Like I said, sunny. Um, the next video, I will go ahead and close my blinds more. So here we've, to me, is you're tossing things around. I feel like you're tossing things around here. But let's go ahead and look at the next card. You've got the hearts here. You're tossing things around again, I feel, about the past, past love, past lover. You know, it, like I feel like you're trying to dive in and see what's happening. What are they doing? Are they coming back? Or, or um, did they find a new love? What are they exactly doing? And... Um, This is someone I feel like you've had so much, so much love and trust in at some point in your life. Let, let me just see here what, okay, we've got the king of diamonds here. Um, I'm feeling for some of you, it might actually be a Pisces or another water sign, but it can also be, um, It also could be an earth sign. Uh, for some of you, it could even be fire because I'm getting that message too. But you know what? I don't like to discuss unless I can see something specific that it's an, an actual sign. Um, because, let me move this up a bit. Because um, it can affect any sign. There's something here, though, I feel you will uncover. And it's kind of when I look at Scorpio and Pluto, it's still like kind of in the underworld or uh, maybe um, it's still in a secret chamber <laughs> and it hasn't come out yet. And it slowly creeps out in May. And, and I'm going to leave this as general because it can affect you in different ways. Different Aries in different ways. Okay, maybe this comes out around the Scorpio full moon uh, in May. But I think that it w it's definitely coming out because I've got chills on it. So I definitely feel like it will appear. Now, some of you are planning vacations with hopes that things will remain open and travel will become one of them. I'm getting a message here that some of you who I spoke about this, who have shifted. I mean, some of you have gotten promotions out of this event, um, out of this pandemic event. Some of you have switched to working from home and are staying there. Some of you are changing departments. Some of you have lost jobs. Same thing goes for love. Some of you have received proposals. Some of you have met new people online and are excited about meeting in person. And also some of you have um, love in your life and you've made some huge decisions. Some of you going forward, some of you not going forward. We'll definitely see a lot of divorces during and after this pandemic. But we will also see a lot of new births just as well as death. We will see a lot of um, just new events happening replacing the old with the new. Okay, let me get a starseed card. Here's a starseed message. All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. What a perfect time for this. Let's see what energy card I pull for you guys. 
community. What, what do we mean by community? Door to spirit. Uh, I feel like you need to be conscious about what's happening in your neighborhood or in your community, okay? Instead of worrying about so much about what's happening in the world that you have absolutely no control over. What I also got here is some of you, because of how the interest rates on property has become more um, flexible, or I should say, is down. Some of you, I feel, are going to purchase homes, are going to be moving in the month of May, or re-signing leases, staying where you're at. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, so that's the message, Aries, uh, for now, and stay blessed, stay loved.